Hi, this is Reverb Audio, and it's a preamplifier week continuation. And uh, I'll be answering a question which is uh, very salient to preamplifiers, and there appears to be a contradiction because I have uh, shared that the highest level application or highest level system building strategy is without a preamp. And uh, and then you notice that, geez, it doesn't make any sense. And there was a specific example provided that uh, Herb Breikert observed that uh, there was a system that he listened to, I think a Vinero C-Source and Ongaku and Avangar Duo system, and they uh, added a preamplifier and it made it sound better. So even at, at the highest level, if you add the preamplifier, you can step up the sound. And people are observing everywhere that when they add a good preamplifier, it always, always improves the sound. So how can I say the exact opposite? Now let's resolve that contradiction. And <laughs> uh, so what I said is not the opposite. It has nothing to do with the commercial situation. So basically, what a preamplifier is doing, it's negotiating the interface between your source and your amplifier. And when they are mismatched, that's when the preamplifier makes them speak to each other perfectly. So it's kind of like uh, your source is the book that you are reading and your amplifier is the person reading the book and, and you have trouble reading it. And, uh, and, and the letters are printed in, in letters that are either too, too small or too big for you to read, not optimal, or, or, or there, there are spots and blotches on, on the pages, so someone maybe read it in the kitchen and, uh, and it looks like really hard to read. And then you put on your glasses and oh, or you add lights to improve because maybe it's too dark in the room and you cannot read. You add lights, oh, now I can read perfectly. So that's what the preamp is doing, is making the conditions of the readout optimal. But you have to do this, you, you have to resort doing that when the conditions are not optimal. And, and, and even if you spend a million dollars on a stereo system, odds are that the conditions are still not optimal. Because people who make audio gear, they do not optimize a, a, one source to one amplifier, but they try to make that source to sell on the market. And to sell, you have to make it compatible with a bunch of stuff. And when you have something compatible with a wide array of amplifiers, with different reading requirements, it's like people with different eyesight. So one amplifier is like, like a 2020 vision and the other one is like maybe like a 1010 or something like that. And, uh, and that's why you have to match the, uh, the source to the amplifier perfectly to have the best uh, synergy. And that's in a commercial setting is only happening with a, with a preamplifier. And the preamplifiers are kind of like universal translators. So they, they make the compatibility uh, to a much wider range. But because they, they, they not just do this, they not just make uh, the compatibility better between the two, but they add their own distortions. So, so it's not, not a perfect lighting, if, if we go with that reading analogy. And it's not a perfect glasses, it dis they distort. Every glass has a distortion in it. And every light is not a perfect light. So, you know, if you are a photographer, you can spend like a million years trying to find out optimal lighting for you to take uh, photos. And it's the same thing with preamplifiers. Uh, they, they create their own issues. 
and 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 of course these issues that they create are much smaller than the issues they solve but they still remain there and uh, and if you want to get rid of those issues that the preamplifiers create then you have to go to the next step so when uh, and when let's say that herb reichert he was adding that uh, whichever DAC or no sorry whichever preamplifier in front of his own gaku and they heard improvement so instead of that if he if he wants to go to the next step beyond that step then he has to take the source and modify it to uh, to achieve the same effect that the preamplifier achieved and then he he can have the next step beyond adding the preamplifier step which is the direct path when you get rid of the extra elements the extra coloring the extra distortion carried by the preamplifier so there's no uh, contradiction preamplifiers that you can buy on the market almost always uh, have the potential to improve the sound of the system by a very large degree however they still impose limitations that were not there without the preamplifier however when you purchase a preamplifier you don't notice this because the benefit that they bring to your system far outweighs the drawbacks that they bring to the system so i hope this answered that uh, that essential question so don't be scared of the preamplifier and when i share advice on on how i think uh, uh, about uh, system building and what I recognize how you can cut out the middleman so the preamplifier is the middleman and and you have a business deal between the source and the amplifier if you cut out the middleman they they can do much better than with a middleman right because the middleman takes his toll so if there's no middleman then you can work perfectly but you can cut out in a business deal the middleman only when the two parties are in perfect harmony with each other perfect sync they are at the same geographical location same town maybe same building and then they can work with perfect efficiency and 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 in business deals we have the middleman because one party does, doesn't know the other party they are to total aliens to each other and they need the middleman to negotiate they need the middleman even to to find those business partners so that's another analogy how you can think about uh, preamplifiers so if you cut out the middleman same thing right here and uh, but you cannot do that in a commercial setting you have to understand what's happening inside the, your units and uh, and you have to be able to optimize the situation and that's what this channel is about this is the audio underground i am not a salesman i am not selling anything to you guys i am teaching you how to do this for yourself how to cut out the middleman and give power to your hand so have an awesome day listen to music bye bye